Okay. Or what were some of the obstacles or barriers you faced in trying to fit into the University of Oklahoma? I think uh, as an incoming freshman, everyone wants to find their niche. And, um, you know, you have all these clubs and organizations and stories and fraternities and things like that. And sometimes people can feel left out. One of the ways that I found my niche was um, through the different resources, um, some of my professors, some of the different classes I had. For example, housing and food, um, university college, uh, prospective student services, you know, they were all places where I could really go there and feel at home and, and talk with people and identify with people. And so um, it's about finding your niche, but then it's also about um, finding niches that you didn't think you'd know before. What things did you do to overcome those obstacles? Um, you know, um, one, one thing is I had to take initiative. I, I had to take initiative. Um, the way I see it is that this university has all the resources that you, you need, but you have to go out there and, and tap into those resources. You know, they're not gonna come seeking you, trying to help you, but once you do break those barriers and get out of your comfort zone and go meet new people, there's a multitude of help, of lessons I've learned, of, of, of just a great community, almost, that I feel throughout the whole campus that I um, have really um, been thankful to have. Okay. What are some of the things that interfere with your academic success? You know, um, Sometimes you you have to really know what you want to do. And I think when I was coming in, I, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I was told to do one thing all my life. And when I got to college and I started to pursue that, I was like, hey, you know, I don't really have the love for this. I don't like it. Once I did find out my passion, what I wanted to do in life, you know, who I wanted to be, you know, it really made my um, academic career change to a, a total, I did a total 180. You know, loved my classes, um, were participant, participated in my class discussions more, really engaged with my professors and things like that. So really, really, you should definitely kind of find what you want to do and go go with that passion. Great. What are the most important academic tools or services for your current success? Put another way, what are the two or three things that keep you on track and help you to be successful? Uh, you know, I, I don't want to do a little plug, but University College, I mean, it's where it all starts. I mean, you know, um, the academic center, the uh, Center for Student Advancement, the multiple um, action tutoring resources they have, a lot of great things that um, helped me succeed academically. Um, another thing was um, being involved. You know, uh, a lot of times I had purpose when I was involved, you know. F um, you know, looking at it in a very logical sense, I had to have a certain GPA to continue to be involved in whatever group I was in my leadership position. I had to uphold um, a good student model, and in that, it pushed me to be a good student, to be studious, um, and to really um, continue to strive for academic success so that I could be a good role model for everybody who sees me doing what I'm doing. Great. How are things different now? What is going right? You know, I e everything is going right, first of all. I, I really, now I realize the importance of my education. You know, um, in life, you know, people say, you know, all you have is your education, and it's true. No matter what happens, you will have your degree, you will have what you learn, you will have those people you've met, the relationships you've built. That's, no one can take that away from you. And I really understand the importance of that. I also understand the importance of paying it forward. I mean, there's a multitude of people that I owe my life's gratitude to. But the, the best way to pay them back is to pay it forward. Mm -hmm. So anytime I can help someone, whether it's you know a peer or, or an incoming freshman or a, a student, you know a fellow student, I always do my best to point them in the right direction. If it's in my power to help them, directly, I'll do that because it's the only way I'm going to repay those who helped me. What have you learned from the obstacles you faced that has been helpful now? You know, it's it's never too late and it's life isn't a race. Um, you know, I, I have a lot of friends who are older than me and they, they graduated on time and they, they're working these great jobs and they're doing, you know, making great money, driving nice cars, living in big houses. But, you know, I always look at it as like, you know, if you're a marathon runner and so okay you're you're in your lanes before you start the race you know and you hear the the gun blow or whatever you're not worried about who's in the lane left to you and the lane right to you you have to stay in your lane and run your race and so once people realize that it's not a race or a competition it makes life so much more easier and, and it's almost a freedom to do what you want in your time
What are your future plans? Well, I am. Uh, I just graduated from the University of Columbia as well. Here, um, my bachelor's is in human relations, and um, I'm going on to do my master's in human relations. I'm also a graduate assistant for the athletic department, so I want to work in athletic administration, um, doing a lot of the background things that goes on in an athletic program. Um, so, and hopefully continue that career, whether here at OU or for another athletic program or for a professional team. So.